now let us try to understand some of the use case about the amazon s3 so one of the use cases it is built for a data lake okay for running a big data analytics artificial intelligence machine learning and high performance computing application to unlock data inside okay most of the industry what actually they are doing for the big data analytics purpose for the ai machine learning and any kind of the data analytics for the storage service they generally use a data lake okay so in amazon space for to build a data lake they generally use a amazon s3 okay that is a one of the use case okay the second is like backup and restore critical data okay you can store your backup file suppose you have a file and you want to maintain as a backup okay so that actually you can do with the help of the amazon s3 even whatever the critical data you will not lose the amazon gives 99 percent the availability of this okay so it is a it is very useful for the backup and restore the critical data okay the third of the use case is like archive data at the lowest cost okay so once we will understand about the life cycle management of the amazon s3 there you we will we will understand like how actually there are the multiple life cycle okay so based on the based on the access we can store into a multiple layer okay so suppose the if you have a data which is like frequent access okay so for that uh, there is a different life cycle okay suppose uh, there is a data which you want to access only rarely okay in a one year only one time you want to access so for that the we have amazon glacier and all s3 glacier and all they are actually minimal cost minimum cost you have to pay for that okay so based on the life cycle management you can reduce your cost okay and the, one of the use cases like run cloud native application okay to build a fast powerful mobile and web based application that is scale automatically we generally use amazon s3 so that are the some of the use case about the s3